Wake up, No Contest. I'm your host, Jordan, from No Contest. I hope you're ready to tune in because today's topic is going to be badass, but it's going to be short and sweet. Before we begin, we've been gaining a lot of support from you guys, and I want to personally say thank you. Please, if you're watching, consider subscribing, liking the video, and hitting that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload any videos. Also, comment, I subscribe down below, like right now, like do it right now. Upon seeing your comment, we will reply to anything and everything. Without further ado, let's dive into the Ghetto Statue. The Ghetto Statue statue has always had one purpose to me when I watched Naruto, and that was to seal away all the Jinchiriki inside so that the Akatsuki can achieve their goal. But apparently there's actually more to it than that. Starting off with its origin, the Ghetto statue was actually at one point the Ten Tails. Even when I watched the war arc in Naruto, somehow I, I never pieced that shit together. Like, But those that didn't know the Ghetto statue was actually a husk of the Ten Tails, for lack of better terms, a shell of the Ten Tails. Hagoromo and Hamura Otsutsuki separated the Ten Tails from its skin and turned it into a big ass raisin. That's literally what the Ghetto Statue is a big ass raisin. After they turned it into a big ass raisin, Hagoromo sealed the separated chakra inside himself, and Hamura migrated to the moon with the Ghetto Statue in order to guard it. After that, a couple years down the road, Madara awakens his Renegon and he summons the Ghetto Statue back down to Earth. Madara then used the husk or the shell to cultivate Hashirama Senju's cells, producing a weird ass clone in the tree that sprouted from the cells allegedly. Madara attached himself to the tree, prolonging his life since Hashirama's cells had great vitality, even though Hashirama died early, like in his 40s or 50s, so I'm confused on how someone that died early gives you long life. So if you're about to die, just awaken your Renegon and summon the ghetto statue, get you some Hashirama cells and begin attaching yourself to trees. And then you'll live forever. But moving on, Kaguya Otsutsuki apparently made an army called the White Zetsu to combat Momoshiki and Kinshiki. Momoshiki and Kinshiki, they were coming to Earth to steal her chakra away from themselves, so she waited. Uh, but they never came. And somehow in the midst of that, these beings were sealed inside of the shell of the Ten Tails, so the Ghetto Statue. So, I mean, essentially the Ghetto Statue is kind of like a hotel for these guys. So, in the Third Great Ninja War, Nagato subconsciously summoned the Ghetto Statue out of anger when Yahiko died. The statue pierced his back with black-like rod receivers and drained his life force, leaving Nagato permanently crippled. So you may ask yourself, why does the Ghetto Statue take away your life force? Well, in this particular situation, um, the ghetto statue didn't have a tail beast inside of it, so the next best thing is the caster. What I did not know is that the nine tails has to be sealed last into the ghetto statue or it will break, which further validates the real reason why Itachi came to the village in part one. So he really did come to the village just to check on his little brother and not take Naruto. I also forgot to mention that only Rinnegan users are able to summon this statue. The Ghetto Statue is also able to spit out these ghost-like dragons that are able to extract all chakra out of anyone they touch. These dragons are also seen being used to extract Tail Beast Chakra, which is what we do see throughout the show. If the Ghetto Statue extracts all nine Tail Beasts, it could turn back into the Ten Tails, which this thing is the key to a lot of the evil plans in the Naruto universe. The Ghetto Statue is also able to shoot out chains from its mouth. The chains have a cursed seal that suppresses the power of the Tail Beast. Also, in the fourth Great Ninja War, Obito summons the Ghetto Statue and, well, it start beating ass because Choza and Choji tried to stop it and failed. Kitsuchi tried to boulder sandwich the statue and failed. So it's physical strength and durability is pretty god tier, man. So essentially, this is the basic information on the Ghetto Statue. If I missed anything, please comment down below so we can further everyone's knowledge on the Naruto universe. Also, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you like the video, your support really helps us keep going. My name is Jordan from No Contest, and I'll see you guys next time.